The River State Monorail Project, which would have been the first of its kind in Africa upon its completion, has turned out to be another case of abandoned project in our beloved country, Nigeria. River State and its residents all envisioned a return to its former glory as the Garden City when the River State Monorail Project was announced in 2011. Although there were a few who had concerns about implementation, efficiency, prioritization and transparency of the project, but then they must have had a little change on their stance when the construction of the monorail began in 2012. Everyone expected that at the end of the proposed project completion date in 2015, the treasure base of the nation River State will become the standard for transportation in the country. Little did they know that it was all a dream. The famous Rivers Monorail, which is located at the heartbeat of the state, was initially designed to ease traffic congestion in Portacot City as well as act as a tourist attraction to generate revenue. The project, according to report, was awarded at the cost of 50 billion naira. The 6.5 km monorail was to use the Intamin P30 monorail train, an electric driven train specially designed and most suitable for commuter services in cities. The train is the most recent model of its kind and characterized by modern design, spacious cabins, and is equipped with large sized door openings to grant easy access to passengers with luggages. This is the same train and design used for the 4.7 km Moscow monorail in Russia that cost about 24 million US dollars and it is currently fully operational. The route for the River State Monorail was to begin from Sharks Park and run to water lines, covering a total distance of about 6.5 km. The route included two segments, Phase 1A from Sharks Park to UTC Station, which is 2.5 km, and Phase 1B from UTC Station to water line, which is 3.9 km. There were also plans for further extensions of the route. Along the monorail route were six proposed stations, namely Sharks Park stations, Azikiwe stations, UTC station, Azikboro station, Garrison station, and Waterline stations. Today, this awesome initiative and development to boost transportation in River State have come to a halt. As of 2015, only 2.6 km Phase 1A of the 6.5 km monorail route was awarded for 50 billion naira and was completed. It was also noted that 33.9 billion naira was expanded for the construction of this phase 1A, which was actually 2.6 kilometers. The project was then abandoned by the former governor of River State, Yesom Wiki, who claimed that the River State people actually told him not to touch the monorail project left behind by his predecessor at the time. Many residents in River State wonder if the power tussle which was highlighted during the 2015 elections between Yesom Wiki and his predecessor is the only reason for abandoning the project. Some have even blamed the abandonment of the project on the lack of accountability of the project funds. It was also reported that over $400 million was spent on the monorail project yet it had remained uncompleted and now even abandoned. This was far more than the amount spent on the more extensive, more sophisticated and even more traveled Moscow monorail system that is currently fully operational in Russia. Also, Cross River State, who had a similar but functioning monorail system at the time, only spent 5 billion naira for its own construction. This was about 1 in 8 of the amount spent in the construction of the uncompleted and abandoned rivers monorail project. A research conducted actually revealed that the failure of the project was based on two factors, the cost and time. Several parameters had been employed to measure the success and failure of construction projects, but three factors time, cost, and quality have turned out to be the most widely and commonly used factors for determining or measuring the performance of any construction project. Statistics from the research showed that the project was not completed at the stipulated time because the cost became unbearable and the project had already gobbled huge amounts of money, which some blamed on the economic issues at the time. This also goes to show that at the time, there was no proper cost and benefit analysis of the project which was one of the bases for which Governor Wiki abandoned the project. Infrastructure is the bedrock of developing any region. That is why it is disheartening to see abandoned projects like the Rivers Monorail which would have been a great leap in the development of the state. As the project continues to remain abandoned, 
it only but shows a waste of reverse taxpayers' monies which would have been used for other beneficial projects. Due to the abandonment of this project, some Port Harcourt residents have complained of how the abandoned monorail construction by the Rotimia Mitchell led administration has become a haven for homeless persons and criminals. It has also become a hideout and a haven for homeless people. Some petty business owners have also used some corners of the shades to run their businesses. According to the design of the project, the proposed route would have gotten double tracks from the station road to water line junctions on Aba and a single track loop from UTC Junction through Equerry Road to UST Roundabout, Abuja Bypass, Olu Passenger Road to water line junction on Aba Road. This route is referred to as the Eastern Route. However, 2024 makes it 14 years. The goals for the monorail construction has remained unaccomplished and abandoned. For such projects to be abandoned for many years amount to insensitivity in the part of the government because taxpayers' monies are involved. It is even more scary to know that it is a public-private partnership project. A critical aspect of this project is that the fate of the monorail project was nailed in March 2016 after a quick probe by the former governor of River State on the project. The former administration to which Wiki was a principal officer had initiated a project following a recommendation of a public forum on the transportation where a one-time military governor had suggested the monorail system as best for an emerging mega city. A public-private partnership deal was reached with a company called STI and special purpose vehicle was immediately floated to create a 150 billion naira project to start the monorail on partnership with the state government remitting its part said to be about 11 billion. The Rivers Monorail Company Limited was floated with River State Government owning 20% while STI International had 80. However, the global meltdown of 2008 was said to have affected the partners who could not produce their counterpart form. River State Government then said it had paid 11 billion equity by 2010, but STI did not. The project at the time had attracted the support of most important citizens, including a one time Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice of the state who has stated that the monorail project was well intended by the government and had urged the people to support the government in it be to build such monumental projects. When STI pulled out, the administration went ahead with the project and by the end of that administration that started the project, about 30 billion naira was spent, but the project was still far from completed. The monorail was to help run from old Port Harcourt to the greater Port Harcourt in 30 minutes instead of 2 hours at the time due to traffic jams. Sadly, the project was caught up in a fierce political crisis that erupted in 2012. To be candid and very fondly over the years, government projects have been abandoned across the country. It has also been estimated that Nigeria has over 2,000 abandoned projects worth trillions of naira. Every year, promises are made but those promises are to bring development to the country if fulfilled via projects. The projects are funded yet abandoned at a certain point. Contractors cut away with the monies and sometimes monies are released to ghost companies who do not have any office or track record of success in the field they claim to be experts. These abandoned projects have had major effect on the economy, especially abandoned projects due to embezzlement which could also be defined as a cause of corruption. Corruption also breeds destruction and underdevelopment. No nation will survive under corruption as the wealth is distributed illegally within certain cabals which could ultimately destroy the nation. Nigeria borrows monies to pay salaries and implement projects. The debt profile of the country is high, and the worst case is that the borrowed money is embezzled. The solution lies with the citizens to monitor projects that have been budgeted and funded because the responsibility is a collective one, from the legislatures to the man on the street, from the government in releasing procurement information to the contractors implementing the project in the communities. Imagine the impact of the over 2,000 projects if they were fully completed in the country. Whether it is a Jakuta steam mill or reverse monorail project, even a two block of classroom in a rural village, Nigeria would be better if the money borrowed is not looted. So guys, do well to drop your honest comments in the comment section. Tell us what you think about this project. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you.